They do pretty decent damage. Oh my god, I almost died here. Let's go, max DPS. And can we use our build to the maximum here? Yeah, let's go. Uh, intelligence increases. Oh, damage. What the hell is this? Level 72 enemy. Oh my god, they do crazy damage. I can't damage it. No, 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 no. Sup, guys? It's Tenkosh. And today we're doing Chaos capstone dungeon in diablo 4 that will lead us to the next difficulty to the nightmare difficulty so i want to see how hard it is and then we'll see what's uh, new in the nightmare when you reach level 50 you will get a lot of new events happening around the world as you can see map is full of those things mostly you'll be working for the tree of whispers i don't want to spoil stuff for you guys and uh, you unlock paragon mechanics as well. So there we go. There, there is a huge paragon tree over here that can be built higher and higher later on. I have no idea how it works yet. So in order to unlock the new difficulty, you will need to do this capstone cathedral of light dungeon. So I want to see how hard it will be. We are running our overpowered rogue build because it's OP. It can clean anything. And I want to turn off those things as well. So you won't see the fps i might turn it on sometimes because some way i can't like my obs can't handle it but overall it's pretty cool so here we are collect animals from the revenant knights so there we go our first enemies here they are level 50 so that shouldn't be an issue for us they should be destroyed no problem yeah they are not significantly harder than the normal monsters there we go our first mini bosses here so let's see how they are uh, they are doing pretty decent damage, by the way. I wasn't expecting them to be able to damage me that much, but it doesn't last, guys. So we finished the mini boss, we finished his minions, and we got uh, some crappy sword. Animus urn. Uh, we need to get animus to open the door, I guess. So I will just probably skip some enemies and go straight to the mini boss. I think this will be faster. There we go. We got one elite over here. Raven and Knight. So we need to assassinate those guys, basically, in order to uh, get our rewards. Uh, Alright, that one is down. Here is the enemy. Uh, come on, go away. Here is the animus. There we go. So we need like four of those guys. Here is another one. Woo, that's a lot of enemies. That's pretty dope. I actually have to use healing right now, which is unexpected. They do pretty decent damage. Oh my god, I almost died here. That haven't happened for a while. Oh. Oh. Oh, I miss clicking shit right now because... Oh, bleh. <laughs> I died. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't played for a while, so I miss click things. And yeah, wrong buttons make wrong decisions. Well, what can I say? It's harder. That's nice. So you can't really blow through it as easy as through the rest of the content uh but maybe it was just me misclicking things or i got the bad combination of enemies here that are like really doing a lot of another annoying things to me so my god this knight is doing crazy damage come on don't die don't don't fail me like that why this guy doesn't want to die let's use our secret to win there we go so much better okay i'm surprised that it's hard i thought it would be walk in the park because i killed um, all the bosses before in the normal playthrough like there th that was very easy there we go we got another one over here let's use the uh, our friend assassin here so we'll do more dps to the boss here uh careful don't get hit yeah it'll, uh I got really bad combination of enemies last time. That's why I died, I think. So, mm, yeah, and I haven't upgraded my gear for a while, so it's a bit outdated too. Another one over here. This time we don't have our to win yet, so that might be an issue. But it doesn't seem so. Yeah, we, we're good. We're good. And we got the full animal, so we can go and open the door now. There we go, animus urn. And we got the passageway. So, what to expect here? More knights. Travel to High Council Court. Okay. So far, it's pretty normal dungeon. Nothing crazy over here. I was expecting something special. Like, Lilith Pipe was special. I liked it. It wasn't as simple as I thought it will be. 
but I was expecting something cool before you can get to the next difficulty, right? Should be nice. So I'm just ignoring the enemies right now because, well, there is no point fighting them. They don't give you that much XP. And I want to go to the next difficulty as soon as possible. I just skipped the part of the dungeon. My god, that's crazy. Okay, here is the high council court. We got, what, uh, four bosses here. So let's try to distribute the damage between them. So they will all die at the same time, more or less. Because that's a really good idea. One dead. Alright, Grand Inquisitor is going down as well. Who is this guy? Yeah, the fight isn't as hard as it could be. But it's not as simple as well. Like, you can get screwed up pretty easily here. We got the last one. Secret Physician. Probably we have to kill him beforehand because he seems to be the healer of those guys. Clerigis. He got some shield or something. There we go. Oh, Grand Inquisitor is up again. All right. So we gotta really hurry up and kill them all at once. Or he resurrected them. I really don't know. Uh, where is that Inquisitor dude? There we go. All dead. Nice. Nice. So, we get no loot here. After this fight, which is unexpected. Usually you get the loot after this. And you got the teleporter. Teleporter to move to the nightmare. So, that's it. Reliquary of Erudition. Slay all enemies here. Alright, that's... That's interesting now. I'm curious to see what to expect here. Well, obviously we're slaying enemies, but... Uh, so far, nothing hard here. It's just the normal mobs that die pretty fast as well. So, yeah, nothing crazy. I want to pull all of them together and fight them all at the same time so I can AoE them faster. Do we get the boss here? Yeah, nice. So let's do this, let's do that. And this, and now they are supposed to die all together. Is it working? Uh, not, not really. Not really, could be better. We get the, our clone. Holding chance. Eh, eh, not that bad. I'm surprised why we didn't get the loot from the bosses though. Maybe I missed it. So there we go, we killed all the enemies here and uh, yeah, now we gotta go to the next chamber. So far, it's a normal dungeon, nothing crazy over here. I haven't seen four bosses at the same time though. I, the maximum I've seen was three, but it doesn't change that much. Although I'm still wondering, did I just forgot to pick up loot? Let me know in the comments if that's the case, because that's kind of weird. <laughs> Curator's Chamber, defeat the Curator. Oh my God, that dude is kinda dead. Let's go max DPS and can we use our build to the maximum here? Yeah, let's go! Thirty-three percent of the health is down. Uh, what are those skeletons doing? All right, where is he? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. Now this dude does some decent damage to me. If if he is properly attacking, I like that. So it's not your, you know, ignore him completely enemy, so that's actually pretty cool. Can we exploit these mechanics to the fullest? Uh, not really, but we tried. Who the hell have this? Oh, okay, okay, we're good. We get the additional uh, fella here. Almost dead. Now gotta be careful here, because uh, his special attacks, they do decent damage. Holy shit. I will heal. Just in case. And he's down. Cathedral can cure, and we got... Uh, okay, we don't get unique stuff here, but we get some pretty good stuff over here. That's cool. So, what do we get? We get a crossbow, we get the ring, and some crap here. Uh, now, now we're good, we can go back to town and inspect the statue. Items we've got aren't that crazy good, to be honest. So, we left the dungeon. It's completed right now. It's like just your normal dungeon. Capstone, whatever. 
And I think now we need to get to the statue and change the difficulty and that's it. I'm curious. Let's see. Here is our world tier statue. And we can switch to Nightmare. Unlocked by completed campaign. Capstone dungeon. Uh, 5070. Sacred items and unique items. Nightmare sigils. Hell tides. Champion monsters with damage resistance. More XP. More gold. More. Let's go. There we go. So. What's new? Not much. Same stuff. Do we still get our quest? Yeah, we still get our quest though, so that's pretty cool. I thought you'll replay the game, but in reality you'll keep grinding. So, yeah, we get the Hell Tides now. Yeah, so as you finish the Hell Tide, you will get those cinders and then you exchange them in the chests. Okay. So there we are in the Hell Tide area. The enemies are level 55 here. That's a bit over my capacity, but since I got the overpowered build, we can take them out, no problem. Uh, I wonder if they're supposed to be that strong, though. 53 plus. Probably I'm just in the area where I'm not supposed to be yet. This is, like, higher than my level or something. But we are collecting things, no problem. Although we have to heal. How many we can get? We can get 100 of those. That's pretty easy. Let's see. Oh, we're not in that area yet, so we have to keep moving. Okay. 60 plus! That's an area where I will get my ass kicked, I'm pretty sure about that. I wonder what kind of loot do we get here. I just want to see what will be on the map. I love, I love that I managed to get to the area where I'm not supposed to be, which is hard. Let's see, level 55 enemies though, not that hard. Uh, how the hell do I get there? Altar of Lilith. Nice. Let me get there. Oh! There are some trees that grow those embers here. Oh my god, the enemies, they do crazy damage here. Holy shit, guys. Okay, I'm definitely not supposed to be here. So the normal mob fight for me is like the fight with the bosses. So first of all, I want to get here in order to get the altar of Lilith, because uh, intelligence increases. Oh, damage! Output of enemies is crazy here. My god, I'm I'm about to die here. Okay, screw that. We are not fighting those guys. I want to see what will be here at this mark. Ah, nothing. This is just marking the area. Okay. Okay, so let's try to fight some enemies here. Blow them up a bit. For the sake of health type collection. Maybe some will drop health for us. Elite enemy. Let's go. Almost like a boss fight right now. Dead. Nice. Gloves sacred. What the hell? I don't know. Level 50, I like that. Uh, fact that they don't have anything, I don't like that. So, what do we have here? Uh, pa -pa -pa. I want to get to this chest, maybe. Let's go north a bit. Holy shit, what is this? Let's kill this dude. Alright, half of his health is down. This is very hard. Those guys, they do insane damage. I want to get some high tier equipment, to be honest. That's why I'm here. Dead. Nice. Woo! Look at that! Armored buckler, something that I don't need completely. Alright, so let's see. Uh, why do I have it? And it's it's a rare shield, it's 48, it's not high level, and it's not sacred as well, so... Yeah, uh, there is one. Ooh, different chests. Some of those have protection, like armor, and other have weapons. Let's go to the weapon chest. I like that when I fight here, I'm always at the edge of death like I can be killed any second because enemies are very powerful I was expecting this challenge like for the whole time I played the campaign now it's here it's not how it's supposed to be like I'm supposed to be here later with the upgraded everything but I like it like that when it's hard nice uh what's this we got the what's this outpost let's go there are some enemies protecting the chest here, so let's collect that. 
We're almost done with those health items, by the way, because we... We collected enough. Oh, already 58. I wonder how many do we need to open. Oh, 150 cinders, come on! We won't be able to get that amount right now. Okay, that's pretty expensive. Moreover, we got one more paragon point. So, uh, I want to go for this one. More damage, more maximum life. This one is resistance. Uh, screw that. So, we'll go right. Let's go to the hole and see what's inside. Maybe we will get some benefits here. Maybe we'll get some cool loot. Who knows? Oh, don't tell me I have to protect them. I will fail protection right now. Ah, no, just defeat as many enemies as you can. I can do that. 53, they are not as hard as the enemies up top, so... We should be okay. Just gotta be fast about it. Yeah, easy, let's go. I usually manage this with this build, so it's not a problem. Nice, skeleton slayer, let's go. We need to take out some more of them. Ah, everything is on the cooldown. We can deal even on the cooldown. Let's go. Oh no, we failed. That was too slow. Mm. Yeah, because of the ranged units, basically. I hate when there are ranged units because I can't hit them in time. But it's okay. Maybe we'll get something good anyway. Who knows? Rip. Uh, radiant chest. Crap ball. Oh! Nice. We can't fit any more Murbering Elbows. So we got level 44 items already. I want level 50 items. Like this ring is nice, but it's not uh, right rarity. This one have damage, thorns, lightning, and poison. Uh, this is bad. This is not what I want. Oh, look at that. We got the sacred pants here. That's nice. This is good. Look at the stats. Damage for four seconds, thorns. What do we have? Dodge willpower heal when close enemy. This is legit. This will give us more armor. Uh, sacred stuff is nice, so I'll go with it. Why Why the hell not? I mean, that will give me extra defense, so it's always nice. I want to see what else is there. Like, scout the entire area. Maybe get some more sacred gear. Because as I'm be I'll be getting more and more gear, I'll get more defense and I won't be damaged as much and the enemies will be easier and the good thing about the sacred gear that it's level 50 so in comparison with the gear uh oh careful the, with the gear that we had beforehand which is like usually 10 levels lower than our current level which sucks this one is nice what about the bow is it good like magical bow so much better than what we have well i mean we don't need the ranged weapons so it's it's a bit different because of that i'm sorry gotta fight some more enemies Woo! Sweet. What's that? Give aid. Help. Thank you. What do you do? Temporary barrier. Okay. What was that? We got embers from the ore deposit? That would be cool. Let's take out everyone. Barrier is broken. We're almost done with the cinders. We're not supposed to be here. This is too hard for us. But we are too good for this. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Level 72 enemy. Oh my god. They do crazy damage. I can't damage it. No, 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 no. This is not good for me. Hell tide assassin. I'm sorry, my dude. Not ready yet. I can't beat you. I just don't do damage. We can take out those guys instead, though. That was pretty cool to see some really cool random boss wandering around the area. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, I was going to see what's on the left over there. Ooh. This is so easy to die here. I gotta keep track on my health at, at all times, guys. So I, I'm trying not to die. Haven't died once, by the way, which is cool. What do we have here? Blessed wave. That would be nice. Do we want to go into the sunken borough? Let's go. We might be able to get some cool loot here. Slay them while defending the wandering soul. Okay. I can do that. Woo! I'm not keeping up in time. Time 
Oh shit. We need to focus on those soul imbued enemies. Okay, gotcha. A bit too late though. Uh, yeah, too late. Ah! No, we did manage. That was close, but no cigar. We got the glyph though. Glyph is nice. Damn, I should have read what I need to do beforehand. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We still get the sacred helmet that gives us... Ooh, a lot of things. We don't need our helmet, to be honest. It's bad. Fire resistance, shadow... Basic skill attack and extra armor are nice. So I, I really want to get more armor. And getting that sacred gear is really cool because it, it's very powerful. Level 50. Take a look at that. That's always nice to see. So it seems, guys, if you die, you lose some of the cinders. Ah, okay, there is no li Okay, it works differently. It's not like a currency. It's a thing that you held, hold on, on your journey, on your run. And if you die, you lose it. When the event is over, they will disappear, it seems. So you'd rather, you'd better use it while you're here. Okay, guys, we got enough to open this chest. Let's see how much do we get for 75 hinder, hinders, hinders. Uh, we get the sacred legendary helmet, which is nice. How good is it? It is pretty good. It's level 50. Our will give poison, shadow, all stats, willpower. Bonuses are crap, but for the armor, I'll take it because armor is really, really good here. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Blood is the key. Ah, okay, we gotta stand on, on one point here. I remember this. The, the only difference that right now... Standing on one point for me is pretty problematic because it's doing... The enemies are doing pretty much crazy damage to me if I'm standing still, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm trying. Not dying at least, that's good. At least not yet. This one is done, the last one. There we go, we managed! Do we manage to do high level... Well, not yet, but almost. We managed to do high level quests all by ourselves without any support from other players. Which is pretty cool. Well, we need to take out those guys though first. They are really annoying. I, I hate them. They're all running around all the time. Trading those swarms. God damn annoying. Yeah. So what do we get? We get some cinder. We get some uh, some loot here and murmuring obols that I can't carry anymore. So we got 73 more. We can open another chest. That requires 75 as far as I remember. We still have time. Uh, what's this? Why those guys have damage resistance things? If you are so special, maybe you got some special loot. Maybe not, I don't know. This dude is the main one, I think. Mm, nothing special about them, so... They weren't worth our time. The thing is, I'm running out of potions. So we need like 75 more of those... ...to get the best loot. Okay, let's see. If someone opens a chest, will it disappear for everyone else? No, it will stay. So those are personal. That's good. I need to get, what? 50 more cinders. Alright, I managed to save up 150 of those and let's see what do we get. We get the bow. Yeah, I needed the crossbow. We got some elixirs as well, so I was expecting something better. Uh, also, this one isn't... Yeah, this one isn't sacred, so I'm not sure how useful is that. But we got some good gear and 
that was a nice experience running in the area that's uh, too high for us. That was fun. I'm still curious if it will stay like that or like when I level up, will it be still higher level or not? But yeah, we will see. So yeah, guys, that's what happens when you finish the capstone and go to the third difficulty in Diablo 4. Honestly, it's way more fun. Um, I was expecting that the story will reset and I'll have to start over, but that's not the case. But I kind of like how everything is going here, uh, uh, all the activities that I have to do, so it's pretty, pretty cool. In any case, let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, check out the video description for additional Diablo 4 videos. We got the playlist with the guides and with the playthrough as well. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Korshaw, have a good one. Bye.